Hello, everybody. This is Dr. McBrick. And, you know, I'm constantly surrounded by Lego, so I thought it's time to do a review of a Lego compatible set. Now, this set is by Funhole, um, FO, and their slogan is the light day and night. And it's because this set actually lights up. Well, technically, this particular set that I'm going to show you doesn't light up. We had some problems in the construction of it. Uh, and so uh, can't get the top of the lighthouse to light for some reason. Um, and I will tell you that full disclosure, because of my brain surgery and a few things that have happened, hurricanes and a bunch of stuff going down on here in Florida, um, I did not actually build this set, but I am going to review the set. Uh, I was sent this by Funhole themselves. Uh, they sent me a couple sets to review, actually. And it says here that this is an 8 plus and above set. So you know what? I found Elias, who is an 8 plus kid, and he actually built this set. So you're going to see exactly if this set is actually buildable by someone eight, eight and above. Now, obviously, I'm an A-fall. I'll review it from an A-fall perspective. Um, and I know Elias was helped out by his dad quite a bit in certain areas and things like that. So I want to thank them very much for helping me out because since the brain surgery, it's been difficult um, putting together, especially these architecture sets, because of the small pieces involved and things like that. So uh, let me do this review. I'll put the link to Fun Hole down below. Um, I believe they're offering 10% off on the set if you purchase it um, and uh, um, mention uh, this video and things. Um, hopefully, uh, we can uh, look at it and do it justice. Now, I got to tell you that the box is great. This is very much of a Lego type ideas type of box. You see it's black. It's got beautiful art on it. Um, it's very heavy. Um, the stock is very, very heavy. Um, the box is opens up from the top. Um, as, as, as you can see here, actually it's on this side, it opens up. Um, and it's just a very, very sturdy box. Um, and so I was very impressed with that. The other thing I was impressed with was their manual. Their manuals are very much like any manual you would get in a Lego set. So as a, for a Lego compatible set, a lot of times, um, sometimes you have to, you know, kind of, uh, they give you a thumb drive and you put it into your computer. I'm always hesitant about putting strange thumb drives into my computer. So um, it's nice that they actually give you a full set of instructions. And as you can see there, um, the instructions are very well detailed. The coloring, they have a couple of color issues. For people colorblind like me, for instance, it's a little difficult to tell the different hues of, um, you know, the dark brown versus the light brown and stuff. But for the most part, it's no different than Lego. They number the bag. They do a very good numbering of the bags. Um, I'll flip up a, a, a page here that shows you all the stuff that comes with it. The lighting kits are wonderfully packaged, very easy to use, things of that nature. So I was very, very impressed with this. And even at a point, at some point, you see, you can see how they have the lighting there um, and they talk about it. Um, even there's a there's a point in here and I don't know where it's at, um, but uh, there was a, an error in the manual. And they there it is. And they actually printed out in color. Um, a correction to that error. So I thought that was really, really good. I'm very impressed with Funhole um, and the uh, the actual uh, models that they have and stuff like that. So let's get looking at this model that Elias built and let's see exactly how, how it looks. Okay, here we go. This is the lighthouse of Alexandria. Now, for those of you that are aware of history and that like history or history buffs, that sort of thing, um, Alexandria um, is currently in Egypt, obviously, um, but it was uh, built by Alexander the Great way, way back. I can't remember. It was something like, I don't know, 94, 300 BC, something like, I mean, it was way, way back. Let's just say it's really old. Um, and they, Alexander the Great um, took that uh, um, that area, uh, one of those areas was uh, an outcropping that kind of came out in, in a barrier island called Pharos, I believe is what it was called, um, and then the main land behind that. And back in the day, um, this was a very strategic point because think about it, you know, if this is the ocean out here where my hands are and folks are coming at you from all sides of the ocean, this lighthouse was the first lighthouse that we can tell in history um, in on the earth. And so it was one of the seven wonders of the world at the time. It was the highest structure for 
um, many, many decades, many hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of centuries. Um, and uh, it, of course, fell into disrepair through earthquakes and through uh, um, uh, pillaging to take the bricks and the blocks and stuff to build other structures and stuff like that. But this was a very, very um, amazing set our piece of architecture of the day in Alexandria. And it really helped in terms of uh, the, uh, um, the, the protection of the mainland because everybody who was coming toward uh, Alexandria had to get through this barrier island of Pharos. And the lighthouse was able to tell when ships were coming out here and things like that. And, and some of the, the, the historical naval battles of the time um, uh, are in that area. And so, you know, if you want to see what this looked like um, at the time it was built, um, this is a pretty good representation of uh, the Lighthouse of Alexandria. I think Funhole has done a wonderful job of showing us what it looked like back then. Um, and, uh, and it has done a great job as an architect set. Uh, now this is 15 inches tall, so it's pretty tall and pretty wide. If you can tell, I have to stay way back here to get it all in. Um, so uh, uh, it's very, very tall. The top half comes off, um, and uh, I'll show you that in a minute. But um, normally the wires are hidden in these models, um, but uh, uh, the way it was built um, and following some of the instructions and stuff, I was uh, told by Elias that, you know, and his father that, you know, it was a little more difficult. Um, in, in the model, if you were an A-fall, for instance, and you were to build this from scratch, um, I think you were be, you would be able to hide those wires. But one thing that that uh, I commiserated with Elias's dad on, um, and I and I I believe this with with any um, lighting source for a Lego model, is that uh, the wires are so thin and so small that come with these sets that it's easy to either pierce one and then all of a sudden the lights don't work, or it's so difficult when you have big chunky meaty fingers that you have to get in there um and obviously with my surgery i couldn't have done that so um i really thank elias but you know what he did his best job and uh um, for his age i am excited to have him as a partner um to help build some of these models and stuff so let's go down in here now this is a print um and so it kind of gives you the history it was 280 bc i guess i should have looked on that before huh uh anyway that's when it was built um, again, I believe it was the Island of Pharaohs. You can see some stickers there, on banners and such of that nature. Uh, they've done a great job with uh, the foliage. And um, again, nice job with the uh, the water pieces. And I really like the way that uh, the bricks look there with the uh, orange circles and stuff. So they, they, they've made bricks that don't necessarily, um, you know, that aren't all orange circles. They're actually bricks. They're actually full-size bricks. As you can see, that one's bending there, or the, the clutch power isn't so great on it. Um, but it gives you that really nice view there. You can see the studs inside, um, but it also provides a nice view of the water. So I really like that. And again, this is on a scale where you can imagine the people would be so small walking in where these would be big pillars and stuff like that. So if you can imagine the size of this, um, when it was built. Now, of course, those wires wouldn't be there, but Funhole has done a great job of lighting this all up. So when it does light up and you are able to light it up, this whole thing illuminates and all the way up the tower goes the lights. There are lights here that come down and shine down onto these banners and onto this tower and everything like that. And it really is kind of cool. I like the way they used um, these pieces here uh, to uh, cover up some of the uh, the curves and, and, and to, uh, I mean, to cover up some of the gaps and to, uh, to make it curved like it was. Um, and then of course we have, uh, there's the bow and arrow. So if you're being attacked, um, you can, uh, you know, use your crossbow there. Going inside of the model, you can see how detailed it is. It really is a detailed model. And you can imagine the scale of this particular tower lighthouse. I mean, you know, if you think about that's a door, you know, down in here is a door. These are people, these would be little people walking through this door. Can you imagine at 280 BC seeing this thing, how amazing of a structure it would be? As we come up top here, we see the top of the lighthouse. Now, of course, that's lit up. Um, 
sadly, we can't light it up for some reason. Um, I don't know if it's the way the bricks were put on or it, or what, but it just won't work. And we tried, and I know that uh, um, that Elias's father and Elias tried like heck to get it to light up, but the top doesn't light up. The bottom lights up on this particular set, but you can see all the way around a lot of studs on the side construction with this model um, to get things where they need to be. Um, there's a piece missing. There's a piece missing right there. That should be a curved piece, I believe. Um, and uh, on this side is actually, I think, an even cooler side because these light up and they light up very nicely. And at night, um, the orange uh, translucent pieces shine and you can see the lanterns there. You can see the steps coming down. Um, you can see that the clutch power on these bricks, and this was something that Elias had talked about um, and uh, um, that the clutch power just isn't up to Lego standards um, in terms of that. But then again, Lego is the gold standard. However, I have built a couple fun hole sets before, other sets myself, and um, I found that the clutch power is not that bad. Um, you do have to press them in. You kind of have to really, you know, work at it a little bit. But ultimately, um, you know, the, the clutch is okay. It's just that it, it, it doesn't, uh, um, it doesn't hold as well as Lego bricks hold. Um, and so uh, uh, just keep that in mind if you're building this set. Now, the nice thing is this set is relatively inexpensive. Now, everything in wires, um, in the wires comes out to obviously a battery box cable. Um, and then all the wires are connected um, to, uh, to a connector there that you can see there. So and again, a lot of these wires would be hidden, um, but, uh, but uh, they, uh, you know, they're not hidden at the moment um, and they come out from various areas and stuff like that. So uh, no, if, if you're an A-fall and you're building this or that sort of thing, you probably will be able to hide those wires underneath of bricks, but it's so difficult again with the little wires to get, you know, right in the studs and then put bricks over top of them without pinching them and all that sort of thing. Fun Hole was one of the first Ma, are the first uh, companies that started making um, uh, light kits for uh, models and uh, things like that. So uh, um, they've been doing it for a long time. I think like 2014, they started uh, building light kits and stuff like that. I really like this model. It's a great model to set on the shelf, especially if you get it and, it, and the lights work on it and everything like that. Um, you know, it, it really is cool. Uh, the way that Funhole does their stickers is another thing um, is really cool. The, the, their stickers are double back so that you actually peel the sticker off. And then on the front of the sticker is a, a translucent piece of uh, plastic. And then you put the sticker on and then you peel off that plastic. It makes it so much easier to apply stickers with Funhole. So now let's take this top off and see what we can come up with. And I apologize for the camera work. It's just this thing's so huge. Um, and I was going to use my GoPro, but um, you can see how it's constructed, you know, basically. But you see those lights there? Those lights are meant to shine down upon the tower. So when they are working and when they are on and connected and all that kind of stuff, you see the connection brick there um, that's supposed to touch to the top connection brick there. Um, you can see that they, they should work real well. Um, and the light shines down down on the tower and it would be a very very beautiful tower now there's a greek inscription in here um and i don't know if i can bring a light over there so you can see it but uh that is a really cool brick um in the original lighthouse of alexandria there was a greek um inscription as well written on a tablet and so they tried to show you that here as well um now again you can see when i put it on it's a little wiggly um so again it's not the strength of a Lego set. However, it's not a cheap set by any means. And I want to I want to I want to make sure that you all know that. That you know, this I mean is a pretty 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 sturdy set. Um now my buddy Scotty over on Brick Me Up Scotty probably will review this set if he hasn't already. Um and he always has a drop test where he drops it um and to see if it falls apart and stuff. Um I think these fun hole sets will hold together pretty well. Now this being a tower of course you might have some tippage as we say. Um but uh anyway you can see up here the tower and things like that. Again imagine the scale of this. Imagine if these right here are taller than the men and women who were up in that tower. These are windows right here from which 
men and women can see um, and through. And so the scale of this would just be fascinating. And you see all of the glass there and things like that with the translucent clear bricks. Um, again, a lot of studs on the side construction um, to get things working. Uh, this is a really cool way of uh, um, doing these, uh, these uh, um, long pillars um, and things like that. So that is the tower, the lighthouse, actually, of Alexandria. Um, I believe this is shown in one of the, um, the, the video games, the Assassin's Creed video game that has Egypt um, as their setting. I think you can go to the lighthouse of Alexandria in that game as well um, and see it. Uh, and so um, they did find, I think, in mid... 2000s or something they found uh um yeah look at the way they use the frogs here see look at that a little embellishment there i love that i love that um i think they did find some pieces of this we're even considering at one point i believe uh, making a museum uh underwater museum for this particular thing since it was one of the seven wonders of the world at the time all right so that is the lighthouse of alexandria it is by Funhole, um, the organization FO, uh, and uh, the company that uh, does put out some really good sets. I also have the uh, um, the Cabin in the Woods that I will review it, it uh, when I finish it. Um, and I have built that. I have uh, uh, started building that set. Um, and so, you know, like I said, I know how the bricks work. Um, the clutch is good. Uh, it's not up to Lego standards in terms of it's not, you know, perfect like Lego. Um, it's not... Uh, as good as I would say maybe a company like uh, Oxford Block would be. Um, but it is a very, very cool quality. You can see it, it comes apart a little bit. Um, it, very, very quality set. Uh, and it also provides some really good parts. So if you're not um, part shy, if you don't have a hissy fit when uh, you mix Lego and non-Lego parts um, or Lego compatible parts, then I think you'll like this set from Funhole because it does provide you with a lot of opportunity um, for the tan and, and, and little parts of that nature. So with that said, please like this video, share this video if you're so inclined, subscribe to the channel if you'd like, that would really be wonderful. Um, I'm currently trying to decide whether or not I uh, am going to sell all my Lego um, and uh, my entire collection and uh, move on to other things in my life with since I've had the surgery or if I'm going to continue to build mocks um, and Lego and things like that. So uh, who knows what will happen. But for now, uh, this is the Lighthouse of Alexandria by Funhole. It's a great model. You can find it on Amazon. You can go to uh, funhole.com and uh, you can uh, check it out there as well. So with that, have a wonderful day. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.